Welcome back to Building Your Own Dinosaur. In today's part four, we're going to start putting on the... Every time. Going to start putting on, going to start putting on. We're gonna start putting on the vertebrae to our armature that we built in part three. And in part one and two, we started building the little vertebrae and covering them. So be sure to check those out if you haven't done so yet. And if you'd like to subscribe, this way you'll be updated with any new videos that come along. So let's see what putting the vertebrae onto our tail looks like right now. Welcome back to today's post-apocalyptic world. Today we're finally going to install our first 17 bones onto the armature that we built in this video. And first we need to attach hooks to each bone so that we can then zip tie them onto our armature, starting right now. So the first thing we need to do is figure a way to attach the bones onto the armature. And I thought about a lot of different things. I tried different glues and methods. And the thing that seems to work best, various types of hooks or staples or things you can buy on the market. And what I came up with is if you buy a chain, because I want to be economical too. If you buy a chain, the, it's already molded or shaped in a way that it can go flat onto your bone and then you can adjust the hook and then maybe um, somehow zip tie it to the frame. So we're going to try this. So the smaller bones don't stand up on their own and we need to attach some kind of a hook underneath each of the dinosaur bone. So for these I'm using some clay to keep them upright and let's go. This is the first ever, let's see how this looks. Do this and put a little hook onto it. That should be good. It doesn't weigh much, so we don't have to do too much with this first tiny one. Okay, so we want to keep things kind of parallel. Okay. See if we can start mass producing these. So all these bones were created through 3D printing. And as they get bigger and bigger, they have to be subdivided into sections. And that's what is happening right now in the other room is there's four 3D printers working on one single bone. And each, each dinosaur bone is really an event of its own. It's like holding an actual piece of old dinosaur. And we take a lot of time in each one. And actually I've estimated that it might take as long to build your own life-size 3D printed T-Rex as it would to like excavate it for real. But I don't own a piece of land in the Badlands, so I'm trying to make my own. Well, that would be great if it works because this is not a bad system. So far, we're not spending much money at all on this. The 3D printing filament, I think each bone may cost from 50 cents to a dollar, dollar fifty as they go up. Hot glue sticks, that's not much. 
this chain which provides all sorts. So these are a few pennies. So, so far we're building a real life size dinosaur at not dino prices. Oh boy. Okay. Stupid. So let's inspect our work. These should have time, have time to dry now. And a little dinosaur bone. Two. Okay, well here goes nothing. We're going to actually put this dinosaur together. I have no idea how this is going to go. With this system of zip ties, this could always be undone and re-put together. So for example, someday I may want to paint it, at which point probably all the bones will have to come down. That's all there is to it.